Hey y'all, it's Nichelle from Nichelle's Lovely Creation. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. Um, so today what I'll be doing is making a glitter bottle with um, epoxy. So it's my first time, so let's get started. So a little love. First, I'm going to clean the outside of my water bottle just with some rubbing alcohol. Right, just to get any dust particles. Take very long to dry. I'll be right back and go stop my dryer. Now this is um, you can either tape the bottom of your water bottle or you can leave it untaped it's your choice I actually like the silver so I'm going to tape it give that a little bit more of a lip and Now, I'm going to take my Mod Podge and put that in one of these cups. I'm actually going to just use my finger to apply it. I watched a video um, to see if this would even work on a plastic um, water bottle because you usually only see it done on tumblers. Um, but it works, so here we go. So I'm just going to dip and just wipe it down. Here's one of these cups. So, put this on my 
from the turner. Good. I'm doing it over a plate so I can try to save as much glitter as possible. I hope you guys are getting a good view. Definitely wouldn't use a styrofoam plate. Um, I'll be getting some regular paper plates because then you can bend it and oh, I accidentally scraped it and um, put the leftover glitter back into your jar. So I think I got it covered pretty good. Just have to get this top part. And I'll give you guys a closer view of it. And I'm going to let it dry for about 30 minutes. And we'll come back on and we'll do the second layer. So that's what it looks like. The first layer, um, as you can see, like down here for the second layer, I'll definitely make sure I get that part. And you, there's a few parts where you can see the bottle a little bit. So the second layer will cover all that. And I think it's going to be pretty beautiful. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes. Um, it feels dry enough. I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to put a little bit more of this in the cup because I don't think that's going to be enough. Apply some more Mod Podge. Make sure I cover whole area and then I'll have to let it sit another 30 minutes I cover it good. Okay. So I think we are ready for that second layer of glitter.
other glitter. I'll definitely be ordering some more glitter. This is just the glitter that came with my kit. So. Mix some more. Mixing good. House is quiet right now, and I know it's about to be loud because the family's coming in. I'll let you know. All right. <laughs> Girl's crazy. <laughs> and so is he. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes again, and then we will do the next step. I'll see you guys in 30. In 30. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. Thank you. 
Okay, I will be back shortly to put on the second coat. Well, I'll put on the second coat and dry that up, and then we'll put some vinyl on it. So I'll see you guys shortly. I just want to show you guys what it looks like, the first coat. It's going to take a while to dry. So we might be resuming this morning or tomorrow. Okay, I got the second coat on and I took the tape off. So now um, it just has the finish drying and then I can put the vinyl on and the last coat and it will be all done. So I will have to tape it one more time to put that last and final um, coat of epoxy to um, let it sit. Um, it's the next day and the water bottle is completely dry. Um, it came out pretty good. Not as smooth as I would like it. Um, but it's nice and hard. Um, I really like it. I like the color. So I have my vinyl cut out already. I'm going to make a beautiful me. Um, as you know, the purple me um, represents domestic violence awareness. So since the 
water bottle is pink, I'm going to put a white underlay. Um, you can't see that too well, but you can see it a little bit. Um, and then I will put another thin layer of the epoxy. Um, so I have to mix just a little bit of that up so I can do a thin layer. And um, we'll have a complete water bottle. So let me go ahead. If anybody has any pointers on how to clean um, the equipment after doing the epoxy, please comment down below and let me know because like I was saying at the beginning of the video yesterday, this is my first time ever doing this and it was a mess. So, yeah, it's a work in progress. My transfer paper. I'm gonna go get my scraper. So when you do your bottle, you can put whatever you would like on it. I'm going to put beautiful me for my business. Rub it with your finger. So I know. Perfect. It's beautiful. I like that silver on here. Very nice. Let me do the underlay. I think this transfer paper is about done after this. This is a recycled piece. that because since this is the um, shimmer you see that um, smart vinyl I have a different transfer paper for that Let's 
because it's a brand new key, so I'm going to have to get it too. Messy over here. Come over to the side. Clean for you, maybe. Super sticky. paper is super super sticky so it's actually taking a layer of my glitter off took a little bit of my glitter off so hopefully I can fix that with the epoxy I put on and cover it not good that does look pretty. I really like that white underlay. You can see where it took a little bit of that glitter. So. And some, um, some people do just stop at this point. Um, they don't do that last um, light layer, but I'm going to do it for one to try to get this to look better. Um, man, that's a big boo boo. Um, and for two to try just to lock that beautiful me. Um, on there. So this time um, I'm just going to use my um, my hand with the glove on <laughs> and um, do it that way. So I'm going to mix it up and then we'll go ahead and put that layer on. So I'll be right back. So remember every time you mix it up it's an even amount of each. So you have your resin and then you have your um hardener so you have the hardener and then the resin so i'm gonna mix that up and i'll be back okay guys i'm back i have my epoxy mix up I just put a little bit, um, just a little bit in a little throwaway cup. And I'm just doing a light coat. Um, I did retape the bottle, as you can see. So, turn it on, and I am just going to just gently. Wipe some on my hand. Just to try to let it set. Actually, um, 
I like doing it with my hand better after doing it this way because you can feel how much you're putting on there. I feel like I have more control. So um, the next time I make one, I will de definitely apply um, my epoxy with my hands instead of trying it with the with the brush. It's just it's a lot easier and I feel like it's smoother as well. It's easier to get a light coat. Alright, so I've got that on there. Pretty evenly distribute it. So, I'll let that dry. And I still have a little bit left over. So, for a coat, a light coat you literally only need a tiny bit which means that these two bottles will go a long way so all right I'll let that dry and then I will untape it when it gets just a little dry so it doesn't harden and Of that off the tape, and then we'll put the lid on and see how the final, final model looks, and we'll be all done. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Okay, guys, we're all done. This is the last result. Still drying a little bit, so I'm not going to touch it. But before using, I would definitely um, let it cure for 24 hours. Um, just to make sure when you put that last layer on. Um, just to make sure it's completely dry. So I won't be um, using this for 24 hours. So... Maybe in the morning I'll try um, to test it out. But um, it came out really nice. Um, definitely hand wash it. Um, rule of thumb, handmade, hand wash. Um, don't put it in a dishwasher. Um, yeah, it's really beautiful. So... Um, everything that you need to make it, your tumbler turner. Um, if not, I have seen somebody do an upside down um, drip as well if they don't have one. Um, she actually had a really cool um, drying rack made by P PVC pipe. So um, I have a drying rack here, but you would need um, some sort of um, foam piece to fit into your bottle um, in order to support it so have the right right fitting foam piece um, heat gun is nice to have to smooth it smooth out your um, epoxy definitely of course you need the epoxy um, Mod Podge your glitter mm -hmm. and of course your water bottle so before and after what a difference you can't even tell that the water bottle was just a plain pink water bottle so as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit the post notification button and until next time